Welcome to a very special series on my channel called Pretty 44 Spirit Takes on Savannah, Georgia. We are in one of the most haunted, actually the most haunted city in America and one of the scariest places on earth. What makes this series different for Pretty 44's Fear is I am in Savannah, Georgia for five days and five nights spending the night in the scariest, most haunted hotels here in Savannah, Georgia. Night one is the Old Harbor Inn. Night two is the Marshall House. Night three is the East Bay Inn. Night four is the Folly House. And night five is 1790 Inn. Every single hotel that we are staying at, we are staying in the most haunted room. Clearly, it wouldn't be Brady 44 Sphere if we weren't staying in the most haunted room. So, I hope that you guys grab some snacks and enjoy this entire series. There's so many episodes to come. Brady 44 Sphere takes on Savannah, Georgia, which is my second favorite city, so let's go. People will understand we're doing this five days in a row. I know. Okay, we're just gonna pause for a second. Hey guys, this is Brittany from the future. <laughs> so I just wanted to point out, I got so sick in Savannah, guys. If you remember in episode two at the Marshall House, if you watched the last episode, definitely watch these episodes in order, guys, <laughs> because you'll be confused because it's like every episode, I get sicker and sicker, and it's so weird because Jonathan never got sick. Guys, we were together for five days, five nights straight. We really strongly do believe it was paranormal because it was just, I was going through all these symptoms so fast, and this night was really bad, so I just kind of wanted to point it out and apologize from future Brittany. I know my voice sounds so terrible in this, not right now, but in this video I sound just terribly sick. I look sick. My face is so oily. So I'm apologizing because I literally have no personality in this investigation. I am so monotone. I just felt like crap. You know, I was fine this day, like all morning and lunchtime. And it's right when we checked in at three o'clock PM that I started feeling sick again. So I don't know, like it just makes sense. Like is it paranormal because we're back in another haunted place and I'm feeling like crap again. And I slept from 3 p.m. until 11.30 p.m. I was just knocked out. And then we didn't even start the investigation until midnight. Which I mean, it's a paranormal investigation. Usually we start a lot earlier, but I just felt like crap. So I wanted to let you guys know. Anyways, please enjoy episode three of Broody 44 Sphere takes on Savannah, Georgia. This time at the East Bay Inn. Next week, it's at the Folly House Inn. And the following week, which is the finale, will be at 1790. So I hope you guys enjoy and thank you so much for watching. And you guys will see me very, very soon. That looks like the, the oh, mirror from the ring. The person that comes oh, in. Yeah. Three. So we are staying at the East Bay Inn here in Savannah, Georgia. This hotel was built in 1852 and it's right across the street from River Street. We are also starting the investigation at midnight because honestly guys, I have not been feeling well. I don't know what's going on with me. Last night at the Marshall House was just like the weirdest thing and now I have a huge headache so I've been resting and I thought let's we're just gonna start later at midnight. That's when people start anyway, so I've just been resting today. And now we're starting the investigation. So, we are in room 325, which is known as Charlie's room. He is the ghost that resides here at the East Bay Inn, and he's in this room. This is the room that he haunts. And everyone who comes to East Bay Inn, they always wanna stay 
in this room because of Charlie. So we just turned off all the lights. He actually fell to his death from this window. So I'm gonna show you. He fell to his death from this window. We are on the third floor. People hear footsteps in this room. They'll hear him walking around. You can be in other rooms and you can hear him walking around. People have also heard him docking, like he'll say someone's name. There's this one story, this man was in the bathroom and he heard his name being called and he thought it was his wife calling him. He was just like, what? So he came out of the bathroom, his wife was sound asleep. Charlie also plays with the TVs and he's not bad or anything, but this is the room that he's in and I just got chills all over my back. So I thought we would do a spirit box session right at the window because this is where he did pass. Like he fell to his death here, so it's really eerie. It's a huge window. This window, it reminds me of Chilean Castle where the monks, the flying monks come. So And the wall too. And the walls. And like, look how high the ceilings are in this room. It's a huge room. You have a Chilean castle cough. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so I guess we're gonna do the spirit box. I guess you wanna sit there. Oh, let's move your tripod. Oh, okay. I'm sorry if my face is all greasy. I didn't even blot it. I don't know. So. <laughs> you literally just woke up and we're filming. I literally, yeah, I've just been. I have a huge headache. Okay. We would like to communicate with the ghost known as Charlie. Charlie, if you were in this room with us right now, can you please communicate with us using this device in my hand known as the spirit box? Charlie, are you here? Is it true that you fell from this window, Charlie? Can you please let us know if you are here? Can you please say hello if you are here, Charlie? If you are here, can you please... If you are here, can you please... If you are here, can you please? Is it just you who is here, Charlie? 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 Are you okay with us being here, Charlie? I felt a little, like our first night at the Old Harbor Inn, I felt like, you know, there was something upstairs lurking up there. Yeah, I felt that too. I did feel that, but it yeah. wasn't like threatening, and he was no. more of a prankster. He was more of a prankster, yeah. He was more like a troublemaker, but yeah. he wasn't like a, he wasn't necessarily bad. He wasn't even no. neutral. He just was a person who was just to pull, used, to call, used to pull pranks. And in the Marshall House, we had multiple spirits who were, who were children, and you know. I'm so mad! I completely forgot to use the, the paranormal music box at the Marshall House. Did you? Yeah. yeah. I think I don't think I'm gonna use it on Charlie. I think I'm gonna, tomorrow. I think that room is gonna be the craziest room with the portrait. The night after? Is that one of those bad? The night after is 1790. And that's the, oh, that's, that's the love Vienna. story. That's, yeah. oh yeah, that's the, I remember you talking about that. 
I'm actually really excited for that one. Yeah, it's. I That's hope my presence really... still there. It's on her mantle. It says Anna's room. Yeah. Okay, I, I literally <laughs> just got the chills just now in my back. Oh, really? Yeah, and I haven't had that in a while <laughs> on any of our investigations. I just got the chills just now in my back. Charlie, if you are here, can you make a noise? When I was sleeping earlier, I meant to tell you. I don't know if you heard it. Um, I heard like a like a, a knocking, ruffling. Hmm. Like right over. Sure, it wasn't me by accident. No, no, it wasn't. Like in between our beds, because you were sitting here. Mm. But I didn't know, like... I was, I was watching YouTube videos. Was, yeah, you were watching Gordon Ramsay, I know. and I was just, what like, are you doing? Out. So, um, that's you, what I heard. You talk in your sleep. I know. I, I'll, I'll, I'll tell everyone this. Like, Brittany, as you know, like, if you watch some of her videos, like, her, her, um, her night vision camera, like, she'll just be, like, she'll have, like, her, her awake phase, and then all of a sudden, like, within, like, a minute or less, she's, like, knocked out. It's like you're like in a, it's like Mike Tyson like punched you in the face and you knock out. Hmm. And then, but like, Brittany will still do that, but then she starts talking immediately. It's like someone going to sleep, like you see in a cartoon. Charlie, if you Whoa, were- Whoa, what, what the frick was that? What? Did you hear that? Whoosh. You sure it's not the cars out there? I just got the chills in my back just from what just happened. It was like a whoosh. Like I heard it, like. On the like here, I don't know if it's the camera. Mm. Charlie, is that you? Can you make a noise in here? <coughs> Charlie, can you knock on the walls? Please and thank you. What to set up a night vision to? I think we should set up the night vision on the portrait tomorrow for sure. Okay. Is that portrait? I am so ready to see that portrait in person. That's the place I've been most excited about. I don't know, like I just feel, I felt like chills in here, but. Now there is the basement that we were told. We, we were talking to the hotel staff, the lady at the front desk. She was saying, she was winking at us saying like, go down to the basement the stairs there's weird stuff that happens and now is it charlie they don't know who that is down there because charlie is just like he resides in this room only mm -hmm. so if you request request this room they know that you are a ghost hunter like when we were first checking in she's like you're in 325 do you know that there's a ghost in there like they're so upfront about it just in case you know mm -hmm. and i was like no that's exactly why we're here and she's like oh okay well that's fine but she was telling us, like, if you want to go down in the basement later, there's weird stuff that happens under the staircase. Like, really weird stuff. So I don't know if it's Charlie. I don't know. I don't know who it is. I tried going down there earlier, but... I know. I tried to... Bet Brittany was still asleep, and um, I was going to go down there and just see what I could get evidence. And I started recording maybe, like, two minutes of it when I was yeah. just going down the elevator, and then... Sure, there's a party going on or upstairs, and like, there's no way I can do an investigation of all this noise. And then they had like, it wasn't that like nine o'clock. <laughs> nine o'clock, but I don't know if we can go down there because they have all like the the um, ropes all in the where the tables are and stuff. Okay. So I don't think we can, and I'm still worried because like there's gonna be cameras and. Then yeah, but she told us that we could go. She was like I, looking I, at if us. If we can go down, let's, we could totally do it. It's a nice room though. I know, I love the high ceilings. But a lot of people hear Charlie like walking. Like he just walks across the hall or um, 
Nothing happens in the hallways though. I mean like he walks across in here. Mm. Nothing happens in the hallways. It's just like he is in this room only. Mm. So it's interesting. I don't feel anything though. Mm -hmm. Strange. I just have a huge headache. Ugh. No, you definitely have the physical empath skills in. sucks that like it's nothing crazy is like happening i think the craziest is obviously this marshall how because of the effect it had on me like the bru no i didn't actually have bruises on my arm you just it felt like felt you felt like i did i'm gonna put well now they've already seen the investigation because this is the third night but it just felt like some Mara morgan grabbed me you i think even too when you do uh when we do future investigations we just need to you need to talk to... I need to protect myself more. I think you just need to talk to your guides and your angels right before you do yeah. an investigation and just say, listen, I need protection when I need it most. It's just weird. If you are feeling like you're being bruised all over your arms, that's not a nice spirit. And in that room, I love how we're talking about martial arts right in there. There's a foul old odor yeah. that like leads to demonic theories because it smells really evil but we didn't smell that so it was interesting i don't know what that was and then i woke up like no my arms are completely fine i never had a mark on me i even looked no scratches or anything so we're now going to try to go down to the basement because apparently a lot of weird stuff happens especially under the stairs so take an elevator there do you I, I did okay so but you'll see what you'll see what I mean this elevator is ridiculous it's so low so where am I going then the first B. Thing? you go to B B okay you'll see what I mean Charlie's hour oh cool oh I like how they call it that <laughs> Ooh, tomato bruschetta oh Oh, I like how they call it that. Too bad we can't play the elevator game in here. Oh my god, I look like crap. I'm sorry guys, we're just... I like how oily my skin is. I didn't even blot. I'm taking a shower when... I'm in pajamas. <laughs> I don't even care. It's been... It's, it's always like this. I don't know. I don't even know what to expect when we're down here. Like this. See? This is what I'm trying to tell you. But I don't know if we could go through because it's like there's a line here. Okay. here because the restaurant's right up here. Oh. That's why I didn't even bother. See, and the rope is up there too. It's still up there. Oh, I got chills, so apparently. There's a lot of weird stuff that happens on the stairs. A lot of weird stuff that happens on the stairs. So a lot of weird stuff that happens on the stairs. So a lot of weird stuff that happens on the stairs. Make a 
sound. Is there anybody here that wants to communicate with us? I don't think we get in trouble though, because they know we're here for the ghosts. Yeah. That was me, that was me. Is everybody here? <laughs> I want pink lemonade. It's probably up. We can go upstairs though. Okay, let's go. Watch the first floor. I feel like I'm in some criminal in this restaurant. <coughs> criminal in the stairs. Oh my god, it does. So one? Go to one. Yeah, they have pink lemonade for guests. That was drinking earlier. It's really good. What the hell? <laughs> it does this all the time. Oh my gosh. I know, I told you. No. I got rid of it. Oh, there. This is cool though. The Hearst Ghost Tours. Yeah. I want to go on all these. Oh, yeah, more ghost tours. Oh my god. Yeah. No, I want my lemonade. I'm a little worried that they don't understand the idea. He's obsessed with Gordon Ramsay. If it's not enough, they don't do anything about it. <laughs> the hotel's coming to an end. No. The place doesn't even open up. You go short for night. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie. Yeah, this is our room. The high ceilings. Yeah, I'm gonna take a shower. Ugh. Okay. Oh my god, I'm so oily. <laughs> <laughs> 